Mm. Mm. Oh my God. I'm literally drooling. I was check the fire. <laughs> hey guys, Jeremy Jacobitz here. And you're welcome, and I'm gonna welcome back. This is all about my food adventures all the world. And today we're on a food adventure right here in Montreal. This is day two of my Montreal food adventure vlog. Uh, today's gonna be a big day. Today's gonna be a day of eating a lot of good Canadian food. We're starting off with the Canadian classic right here, St. Peter's or Bagels. You guys won't believe this. So when I travel, I don't want to have my ATM card on me. Like I leave in the hotel in case I need it ever, I guess. But when I go out, I just take a credit card, whatever, usually credit card and Apple Pay, I'm pretty good. Fortunately, um, it's cash only. So, my brain hurts me, but I now have to go back to the hotel to get an ATM card so I could go in there and get cash. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Okay, I secured the bagel. Ho, 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 ho. Here it is right here. Got an everything bagel. It's dense. It feels dense. I'm into this. Mmm. So already just looking at it, it looks to be like a lot more dense inside than I'm used to for a normal bagel. Or even like, listen, in New York we have Mile End, which the name of the bagel place comes from the area that I'm in right now, Mile End. Um, but that is always told to me that like it's more of a hybrid style sort of Montreal New York City bagel. Because the inside here looks totally different from what those do, even though if the outside sort of looks similar. But it's all about the taste. Let's. I think two things pop out to me immediately. One, that little tiny bit of sweetness. Two, just how chewy they are. Like, the inside of this bagel is almost, it's almost brioche -y. Anyway, I think that's the best way to describe that texture. They are goddamn delicious. And what I always say about my lens is that these are bagels you could eat without anything, which is what I'm doing right here. A real New York City bagel, as good as it is, and I fucking love it. You kind of need cream cheese and locks and lots of stuff going on. You would never eat them on their own. These are just super, super flavorful where you don't need anything. I'm happy. Mm. Oh, sorry, Oops, but what's happening? Okay, so honestly, that bagel made me feel so good. This morning, this trip so far, besides the food, has been very, very frustrating, honestly. Um, and that bagel just literally, like, to tears how good it was. But what I'm doing now is I have a shoot right after this. So anytime, if you guys know my trips, like, take breaks where you can, as much as I want to explore. I have a lot of gear on me right now because I'm going from shoot to shoot to shoot. So I'm gonna spend probably tomorrow more just like walking around exploring. Taking a little break, I need a goddamn coffee. I was dying, so I just stopped it, found out. I don't know, it just was the first thing that came up on the map. Gonna sit and work for a little bit. And then more food. All right, I promised you guys a big Canadian evening date, and that is what is about to happen. We are here at La Banquise, ready for some poutine. This place, first of all, when I did my research, poutine looked amazing. Gigantic menu too. But what's what really got me was that they're open 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day, you can come here and get food. So even though it's like nine in the morning right now. I'm ready. I'm ready. Poutine. Let's go get it. Ah, poutine. The Canadian delicacy that has french fries covered in gravy and cheese curds. And at La Baguise, uh, they are taking that to the next level with some wild variations. Uh, so I also had to try the Sud West uh, with onion rings, avocado, chipotle cream, onions, bacon, and then the Fred Caliu, uh, which has ground beef, smoked meat, spicy sausage, and merguez sausage. I mean, the menu is so freaking big. I didn't even know what to choose, but the owner was like, oh, let's give you a little bit of a mix. She wants to give me four. I was like, oh God, four. I just hate wasting food, but she gave me three. We want a little bit more of like traditional and a little bit more wacky because the menu is so big. You can do whatever you want, but oh God. Wow, that smells good. It's a traditional first, which is obviously just the gravy, and the cheese curds, and the French fries.
wow. It's rich, it's creamy, it's decadent. The fries are really good, like such a beautiful like dark fry in them. But still, crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Mmm. Oh, whoa. Again, like I don't even know where to begin with all these, but whew, that looks like a solid bite. Mmm, that chipotle cream is really nice. There's so spice running through the whole thing. We gotta get an onion ring. Mm. This is a big napkin job. <laughs> ooh, that's, ooh, that spice little builds there too. Wow. Okay. I'm feeling that. And then the spread color, you have just every meat imaginable. You can't even see the fries. There's so much meat in this. <laughs> Dig around in there trying to find it. Ooh. Still smoking. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is, mm. Just dead, absolutely dead. This one's just super smoky, and you have all those nice flavors coming from all the sausage, just like those little tiny bits of heat coming from the sausage, too. Oh, big breath, goddamn. Mmm. Gotta sit back, take this in for a moment. It's poutine heaven right here, guys. You know what's funny? I think I like the traditional the best. Nice, classic. The other ones are just like, it's good, but I like the sort of simplicity of this poutine, of just like, it's there, it's rich, it's amazing. If you want to F with it, F with it. If you don't, don't. Wow. All right, so I need a little bit of a break from eating already. Uh, so I took a tiny siesta at the hotel, and then I was like, maybe I'll do a museum because it, it's getting hotter and hotter. Oh my goodness, I'm fucking be on the camera. God, God damn it, of course. God, God, God damn it, of course. Anyway, I figured, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, a museum would be fun. It's getting kind of hot. I love museums. I love history museums. So I'm at the McCord Museum here, which apparently is a good history museum in Montreal, just like Canada things then, you know, I like learning and this seems fun. So uh, let's go inside and check it out. All right, so I was in and out of that museum in like 10 minutes. So uh, uh, it wasn't fully open. Like two whole floors are still being renovated. And I think those are the floors of more the general history. They just had two special exhibits going on. One is about a cartoonist that seemed cool, but with having zero knowledge of who he was, it was fine. And then the other was a Christian Dior exhibit. The beautiful dresses, lots of dresses to look at. None of which I really cared about. Um, so yeah, I kind of just left and um, it's gonna walk around, it's gonna walk around. We're gonna walk around and see what we find instead. All right, so I've just sort of been walking and walking and walking. I wanted to come here and check out sort of my shoulders there, which is the, the, the Notre Dame, the Notre Dame uh, Basile. A uh, beautiful, grand, incredible church here in Montreal. Um, the inside is even more beautiful, but as what is becoming a trend here. Uh, it's not open. So, whatever, just been, sort of been walking around taking photos. It's a hot one out here, but I figure, whatever. God damn it, there's more fucking bees. I, I can't, I fucking can't. I can't. I can't fucking take it. I can't fucking take it. God damn it, the bees everywhere. All right, so one place I really wanted to try was after a short place, which is just over my shoulder there uh, for their smoked meat sandwich. I've been hearing about it for years. Every single person told me to come and eat here, blah, 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 blah. You know, I tried to get in touch with them to come here. When's the best time to come? They were very nice, they told me. Unfortunately, I got here and it's just, it's slammed. It's lying down the street. They're absolutely packed inside. And you know, as much as I want to eat it, it's sort of like, what I do is document for you guys, and if I can't properly document what's going on, I, I, I really don't. I really don't want it. Um, it's just it's too hard. 
So it's a bummer, because that was very high on my list of places to go. Um, but it's just, it's the only, it's, uh, <laughs> I've not seen people anywhere in Montreal. Like it hasn't been busy anywhere in Montreal, except for Schwartz's, which I guess tells you something, but unfortunately means I won't be going there. Okay, well, I definitely need food. I was starving, so I went back to my list. You're like, well, what other sandwiches can I get? I was in the mood for sandwich. And Walensky's was on my list. Uh, apparently, they only have one sandwich. It's the only thing to get because it's so damn good. You don't want anything else. So, um, I'm gonna go inside and grab a sandwich and then we'll eat. I mean, a sandwich, look at it, just all about simplicity. So, on here, I took a bite out of it, just like I'll show you what's on. Oh my god, there's more fucking bees. Jesus Christ, this is like the goddamn bee hour. Fucking shit. I can't fucking stand it. Fucking son of a bitch. I really just want to film. So anyway, I took a bite of it so you can see what's on the inside. So inside of it is salami, bologna, mustard on this nice pressed little roll. You could add American cheese or Swiss. I said, give me, give me what you think. And they gave me Swiss and just... Simple, it's easy, nice little lunch. Maybe not as good as Schwartz is, but you know what? There's nobody in there. So it made the experience a lot easier for me. It was actually like oddly empty. Like there were like four of them sitting there. It felt uncomfortable. Whatever, I'm happy, I was starving. Mm. Oh, one more home. They make their own soda. I was like, oh, I'm kind of thirsty. I was thinking soda. Make those soda, I got a cherry cola. It's pretty delicious. Hmm. I'm being attacked by bees again. Let's walk over this way. God damn it. Okay, well, anyway, uh, it's time for my next stop. Uh, if you guys have been on trips with me before, or all my videos before, I guess, too, you know I'm not a big sweets person, but I gotta do one sweet in every city that I'm at. I found Bernie's Beignets. They've opened only three months ago, but. They have an apple, apple fritter that looked oh, unbelievable. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna see how this one's made, and then I'll eat. Ready for some sweet, a little sweet action. Give me a little, a little, a little sugar high, also be good. I'm walking around, I'm a little tired. Some sugar will feel good. Mm. So the fritter begins with mixing cooktown apple mixture into the dough, um, just with tons of cinnamon. After mixing and folding, it rests, gets another fold, and then gets cut into gigantic pieces. It goes to proof for 15 minutes and then it's time to fry. Just so, 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 so beautiful. And then of course to finish, all of that plays. Oh my God. This thing is enormous. It is insane. Oof. It's heavy. God damn. Mm. Oh my God. I'm really drooling. I was gonna check the bite. <laughs> I want that apple though, let's get in the middle. Ooh. Oh, it's an experience. Yeah, I want that apple, there we go. Super crunchy on the outside. Nice, dense, moist bite on the inside. You're getting all the flavors, also been sweet. It's good sweet. But you get the flavors, the apple's coming through, the cinnamon's coming through. Really, really nice balance and just like, this is, this is an experience. That's all I can say, it's an experience, because, oh my God. Mmm, and the buttering is coming through too. Wow, not only is it gigantic, it's freaking delicious. Mmm. Okay, hello guys. Uh, that's going to be the it for day two in Montreal. 
Um, I ate the donut. <laughs> I ate the fritter, I mean. I ate a lot of that fritter. Went back to the hotel, showered, changed, feeling a million times better. I'm gonna go get drinks at a bar now. Um, but I figured we'll end the video here. What I'll do is if the bar is cool, I'll put up some video of it just so you guys know where I went. And if it's not, I will see you guys next time. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, go on a lot of food adventures, comment below what uh, the best part of this day was. It was, it was a good, it was like, it might have been like a top eight day, to be honest, a top eight day, but I'm happy.